large python, baby jumping, bagel, good acid. You, God, you look good today. So do you. Thanks, man. It's like looking in a mirror. Yeah. People thought that anyway, but yeah. now it's now even, it's super mirror. We're wearing we're gonna have this time. These matching Hawaiian like golf sweaters. You're wearing Cassie's. I am. And we're I don't mine, have but... the boobs for it, but it's uh <laughs> But it's there. You're doing it. Oh game, what you got? Oh yeah. So we have to. We have to play this because all of us were losing our shit. And then we were just gonna move on like we didn't just do what we just did. Mm-hmm. And we decided we have to bring it, bring it into the show. Mm-hmm. We hope we hope you guys like this. Okay. Now I feel like we can officially move on. That would yeah. have been haunting us. That was fun. Uh, episode 93. Thank you guys for Look being here. Back on. Oh, yeah, I, got, I got one. We have one feels we have like freaking, enough today. Uh, Hawaiian golf shirts on. In, oh, I'm not sure how to feel like friendly, but also a little scared. Yeah, it's like if you cut in front of me on the course, there's yeah. going to be a hell to pay. But until then, fucking like mahalo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? Mahalo. Until then, I'm hey, done. Can we play through? Excuse me? <laughs> Uh, you tell me. Get your nine yeah, iron yeah, out. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me who's playing through what. <laughs> so I'm about to play through your fucking jaw if you ask me one more time. Uh, <laughs> thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon. Get the bonus content, exclusive merch, uh, early access to merch, questions. We answer your questions uh, on the back end of the bonus stuff. So you can find a link in the episode description or head over to patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. Uh, send stuff in. Hey, guys, at can you don't podcast.com. That includes all the segments, petty beef, mm. uh, just some dick, some dick. No. You got confessions, you got just weird shit, happy shit, jokes, whatever good stuff you find on the internet, that's the email address you send it in. And speaking of that, we have not had, although I can't, I've, I don't ever stop thinking about it, but we just haven't talked about hot air balloons on the show for a bit. Well, it's funny that I this was in the show because last night... Mm. I was watching, kids are watching YouTube videos, and they were, it was like Mr. Beast, and he had a, oh, an air balloon thing on there. Mm-hmm. Or no, no, it was Mark Rober, and it, like the air balloon gave out, and I was like, oh, weird. Oh, weird. Who's going to die? <laughs> An air balloon <laughs> crashed to the ground. You turn it off. You're Big like, surprise. This is for 18 plus. Right. This should be mature audiences only. <laughs> Someone is going to die. Yeah. But we had a couple articles sent in. Uh, sent for, This first one sent in by our son, Matthew. Um. I mean, it's sad, but you're not going to be surprised. Can you imagine being in this? But man falls to death from hot air balloon. Passengers traumatized. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to get into it, but they couldn't land, obviously, because, and it just kept floating miles away. So they watched this dude fall out of the hot air balloon to his death, like just in a neighborhood, and they just float a couple miles away. <laughs> Yes, yesterday I saw a guy <laughs> and can't do and can't do anything about it. Like how quiet? Like you know, that, uh, like something happens at the dinner table, right? <laughs> like you know, yeah. uh, husband wife like snap at each other. I don't know. How about you tell me about the bacon? <laughs> and then like all you hear for the rest of dinner is the plate, silverware, like silverware clanking. clanking. Yeah, and like some kid has the the balls to be like, "Can you pass the gravy boat?" <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you hear. Like I don't know. You asked your mom. And well, then back to clink, clink, that's all you hear clink. until you hear a man fall out of the sky and land on someone's <laughs> right. fucking so that happens PT then for, cruiser. Then that happens, and for the miles you drift away, what's everyone doing in the wicker basket? Yeah, he's being like, That was pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's, pretty, oh, he's probably fuck. fine, he's, he's probably, probably fine, right? He's probably fine, right? He probably there, had a parachute, right? There were probably trees that he could have landed in. <laughs> I mean, you guys give everyone parachutes, right? <laughs> right, obviously. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it seems like a standard procedure in a hot air balloon. I mean, these things are so crazy. You've got to put a parachute on You're a on, thousand right? feet in the air. You'd think yeah. you'd have a safety. Some sort of safety net. Yeah. Hey, Zach, what were you going to say? Yesterday I saw, or two days ago, I saw somebody in a hot air balloon go right into power lines. Yeah. And it blew up the That one the makes the rounds. Too. Is it? Is it old? They, yeah. yeah, but thank God. 
Uh, they survived that. No oh, way, I, I really? was going to say, thank, yeah. I thought you were going to say, thank God someone filmed it. That way we were able to watch it. <laughs> over and over again. Because yeah. it makes the rounds. It feels like at least, like I don't know, like every month, month and a half, uh, it go, it disappears. And then our, our Instagram, you open it up and there, it's like, oh, you know, 60 new messages. And 59 of them are that. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. So you just get to watch it over. But he, you get, it's a zap. Yeah. In that video. If you've seen it, you know what we're talking about. It's crazy that when a balloon accident happens, I think of you two. That's, yeah. That's a good uh, thing. Good marketing, guys. Thank you. Right. We're doing our best. So I, you went a different direction that I w- thought you were going with it when you said that it was so silent when people are like, Oh, that was something, huh? I was thinking about the family because he landed in a residential area. Oh, so down below. I was thinking the people eating dinner, they're in an argument, oh. and then it's silent, and all of a sudden, then <laughs> 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 so <laughs> alarm goes off. <laughs> the dude <laughs> fell on the PT cruiser. Yeah, the, the dad, he's like, well, he looks out the blinds like, God, not what I needed today. <laughs> Another fucking hot air balloon I guy. I just washed my car. <laughs> God, you after the day I've had. <laughs> Last thing I need is a dead body in my fucking yard. <laughs> it's the ca- just cartoonish, <laughs> cartoonish yeah. layout like this too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just <laughs> wop. Anyway, sad. But uh, that leads me to this next article. This was sent in by our son, Kyle. Mm. Uh, what do you think about this? Fucking Kyle. Uber introduces hot air balloon rides in Turkey. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Users can now use the app to tick a... Cappadocia? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, sunrise balloon right off their bucket list. That is not on my bucket list. No. That's what's safe to say. That's a good pun, though. It's never going to make my bucket list. Hot yeah. air balloon and bucket. I like yeah. it. I like what they basket did there. Basket list? <laughs> Maybe basket list? Check it off your basket list. <laughs> <laughs> and then burn the list. But no, they're experiencing, uh, or they're <clears throat> experimenting with it, where you can open it up and uh, book a fucking hot air balloon <laughs> for your destination. We should be going the opposite direction, doing less of this. But how funny. Uh, like, imagining you are you are hammered, right? Ride chair. It, it, <laughs> like, it's a Christmas party or something, mm. right? And you're like, you know, you need a ride? Like, no, it should be outside. So it just landed. <laughs> and you get out, you open the door. You, go, <laughs> <laughs> you Brian? <laughs> and you're checking around you're like making sure it's the right hot air balloon <laughs> right right before you get in it says and the thing it says red hot air balloon multicolored hot air balloon so oh. spongebob spongebob square pot square pants hot air balloon <laughs> not to be confused with <laughs> with scooby-doo you walk out and you look up it's just a giant fucking spongebob He's, hot air balloon uh, you ever had an that uber is... where they're like the, the guy someone cancels and the guy's mm-hmm. like well i'm here do you need a ride mm-hmm. you imagine that happen <laughs> yeah. like Oh, you're SpongeBob. He's like, yeah, but I, mean, I just got a cancellation. You want to go? I'm like, nah, I got Clifford you know, on the way. Yeah, Clifford's coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but Clifford's not <laughs> going to be here for. See him. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's inbound. <laughs> Clifford looks like he's about twenty knots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be riding in that. That's oh for sure. Oh my god! Good luck getting home. <laughs> Imagine them running into like a line of they're, they're trying to stay in their area, but you don't know where they're gonna go. Fucking valley park in a hot air balloon. <laughs> Get your card. Yeah. No, 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 no. I had the SpongeBob. Yeah, this is clearly Darth Vader. Door of the Explorer. <laughs> Door of the Explorer. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so. You ever driven one of these things to the valet? <laughs> Like he's like, you got keys for it? And he goes, no, you just pull this. <laughs> <laughs> but put it in valet mode where it doesn't go quite as fast. You might want to park it on top of the parking garage. <laughs> I don't think it's going to fit inside. Just a, a big lo- a landing pad for <laughs> for hot air balloons. But I just the, the proximity marker of like, where do you need to go? Kind of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just need to get to the west side of town. In Can you five do that? square miles. Yeah within, where... yeah, within five to ten. You pay more to have a more precise five mile radius to home i could have used a hot air balloon today <laughs> oh getting over traffic. traffic i mean know? that's about the only time i think i'd want to take a ride yeah what about a hot air balloon or a flying car yeah right you know that's not neither here nor there mm-hmm. let's uh let's fire up the show let's get rolling fired up all right i, I haven't it's been so long just hey shut up start the show already <laughs> all right <sighs> i think we should make a full version of that song we wrote yeah yeah Full version would suck. Uh, Spotify, just... Speaking of which, I just have to say, uh, Sex On Me is on Spotify mm. and is by far his number one played song. Mm. Just want to let, let everyone know that. 
You're doing well, people. Yeah, thanks to the kids. Thanks for checking that one out. This was sent in by our son, Charles. Okay. We tweaked it a little. Uh, but it says, would you rather be a security guard at the world's most violent, dangerous, cop-hating prison for one year? Working a standard nine to five every day, and you get 10 million bucks at the end of that one year. Okay. Or be a prisoner in the world's most soft and safe bitch boy prison for two years, but you only leave with 50K. My first thought here. But you're getting pampered and you're probably getting out alive, which is pretty cool. Well, I guess my my thought is like I've never been in prison. Uh um, yeah. But there are already there are people that work at those mm-hmm. prisons already, and they're just making their salary. Yeah, so right. they're making it through. Yeah, but we're talking like the most they hate you at any moment. They're going to try and kill you. So, and the other way is like bitch you are boy, t- where taken like taken care of, but they might want to get your get the freak on with you. Maybe? <laughs> sure, I think like. I hear um, bitch boy. I hear like, yeah, you're making the rounds. I hear you. I think it's like um, picturing like a prison that someone in Hollywood with a bunch of money would go to, mm-hmm. and they got in trouble for like tax fraud. Yeah, that has they're like not, a Burger King at it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, they're gonna take care of you. Be like, oh my, I'm fucking, I don't think my pillow's right, and like you have to, you have to <laughs> stay inside the same building, but it's not the same experience as whatever terrible prison. I don't even know. San Quentin is that a terrible prison? Is yeah. that a th- even a thing? Yeah, San Quentin's pretty bad. Nice. Any one of those California ones, but like they just they want to kill you. I feel like I could I could make them laugh. Maybe I'll just be try to be so funny. They're like, well, I can't kill the joke machine. Well, then now, but now you're all you you're always on. You're yeah. like you get, every time you walk in, there, hey, make me laugh. I tell you the one about the Nazis. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the Nazi who tried to change a light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to relate with your no, fucking jokes? Did you hear the one about the, the police officer that <laughs> went in... Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't, please don't kill me. Uh, yeah, he's like, remember... you uh, Remember the one about the inmate you, that didn't kill the police yeah, officer? Yeah, I was going to say, remember the police officer is like, he was really sorry that he... <laughs> sorry that, that he, he, his hands were tied and he, he couldn't get you the extra cigarettes that you really wanted? <laughs> even though you said you're going to kill him and his family when you get out? You ever hear that one? <laughs> you ever hear that one? <laughs> I'll tell you when you, I'll tell you when we get out of here. I gotta stay alive. <laughs> if you ever want to hear the punchline, don't fucking kill me. Mm-hmm. No, it's a really good punchline. I'll tell you right when we get out of here. I'm the only one that knows this joke though, yeah, so you they, can't kill me. And then take your ten million and build a Fort Knox, <laughs> so that you have to never tell that inmate that punchline. Or you go in there just swinging, I, knock people around, and be like, "All right, Lord, look at us." I know, but we're we not had to doing start anything. You, you thought that you could take somebody out the last time yeah, we had a prison. I could turn. I could turn. Like <laughs> if I if I had to turn and be angry, punchy, I could do it to survive. But that's definitely not who I am. Like I, I avoid confrontation at all costs. But if I had to, I mean, I, I know I could. I can throw some punches. It, it, that sounds terrifying to me. I don't. I don't think I'd want to do the. But don't I don't it, want to be anywhere near a maximum that kill me. prison, yeah. especially with with a target on your back. It's just it's already one thing to work there when you know the shit that could go down. Mm-hmm. Like I've never been there, but I've seen the TV documentaries and stuff. I've seen what people do. So two years of, I mean, just family gets to visit you. Things are pretty good, and you just stay alive and you get out with fifty k conjugal visits. Yeah. With Pamela Henderson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's just you You have to do a cell thing, but it's not a prison. Like, you're not scared of dying. Like, you get to, the like, showers are fine. Everyone's supportive of, like, they, they count your reps in the yard. <laughs> they, they, they're supportive. Like, they, yeah, uh, they support you. They want the best for you. And then the other one is they want you to die. But you get ten million dollars if you make it through. Is that enough for, for therapy <laughs> for the rest of your life? To be, be scared of everyone? It kind of sounds thrilling, though, doesn't it? I don't know the idea of I like, mean, how scary could it be? Get, well, if, if they want to kill you, it's I, really scary. I guess what job do I have? I mean, it says security guard, but yeah. there's a lot of different types of security guards in a prison. Do I get to stand in a sniper tower? <laughs> yeah, oh, cool. yeah, I do that shit all day long. I do that for sure for ten million. <laughs> Am I the guy that's got to take the guy into the showers? Mm-hmm. No. No, I'm not going to make it. 
Am I the guy that tells someone no? <laughs> yeah. You don't. Don't Can't shank do that. him. You shouldn't do that. No, that's a bad idea. Give me that shank. Give me give me the shank. I'll give it back to you when we're done. Okay, but only if you're good. What do you what's your sentence? 57 years? Okay. I'll I'll hang on to it. <laughs> I'll hang on to it. First when you get out, I'll put it under a rock. You come to, you come see me. <laughs> you come see me. I'll Actually, be a- don't come see me. I'll come see you. Mm-hmm. We'll have a meeting place in 57 years. I'll be in Fort Knox. Back. And you I'll leave it outside my private gate. <laughs> I'll have someone bring it to you. <laughs> I'll have someone deliver it to you. Don't fucking find me. <laughs> Please. I think I just have to I don't know. Zach, what do you think? Where are you going? Can Are you, you risking lo- your life for $10 million? Yeah, probably. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you're huge. Sniper Tower would be a good good spot. I'd go for that. Man, I don't feel like we get to... Wor- yeah, I feel like we... Yeah, I feel that's, like you got to be... That's part of the gamble. It's part of the gamble. You don't know what you're gonna, they're going to make you do. I feel like... And to you're make coming it, in as a rookie. Like, they're going to make you do the fucking shit. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel like you got to do the bitch... Like, you got to be... In you're, the trenches? You're in the, you're in the yard. Mm. Right? Like, I feel like you got to be in the yard. To make it worth $10 million. I think they would look at you and be like, mm, you're not going to the yard. <laughs> look at you. Fucking nerd. <laughs> you fucking dweeb. <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> you, you're going to go to the library. Go go check out books. Shit happens in the library, though, too. Right. They rip out pages and put... Shit happens when you... Shanks in there. Don't think shit's happening. Right. That's that's the scary part. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the library is where people meet mm-hmm. to talk about their plans. Shane Shanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shawshank redemption, Shank, Shank exchange <laughs> down there at the library. Um, yeah, I Shank think I'm Williams. picking it. Ten million's en- enough for me to just have to buckle in for a year and try and pull it off to get out and be fine. Not just like me, but also you do the right thing with ten million. You set your, you know, you set your kids up and you have generational wealth and like things are. You put yourself in a pretty good spot with 10 million. Oh, yeah. Throw it in a dividend stock. Just staying alive for two years and getting 50K and missing your kids and being fucking lonely. <laughs> I don't know. You won't be lonely. At least you get to leave the fucking prison at nine to five. You get to get out of there and still have a life. It's I'm only do- 365 I'm do- days. I'm doing 10 mil. I'm doing 10 mil. Same. Yeah. He They're originally- most likely not going to kill you, mm-hmm. but they might rough you up a little bit. Yeah. You know, I and mean, there's not, million. if it was that big of a de- people uh, wouldn't work there. Yeah. And you hear a story every single, like it was super, super dangerous. At least once a week, you hear about a fucking security guard getting killed, but you got a bunch of guns and they don't. So I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. It's going to be rough, but I'm doing it. Maybe. I think it might be worth the gamble. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Damn. We're about to have $30 million. We can build our own Dude. prison. It's going to be sweet. Uh, yeah. Lock up. <laughs> we can all pro- the- God, we can privatize our own. Yeah. <laughs> High, high security That's prison. That's the thing is the invest the money. We just we right. just buy a prison. <laughs> buy the same prison. Yeah, we buy the prison and then we make lots of money. And then unlock all the doors and then film a reality TV show. We have so many fucking license plates. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move off to what are you thinking about? Okay, all right. Zah. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Uh, you know nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? Okay. This one I called and, uh, well, I didn't call you, but I left you a little voice message. Uh, this past weekend, very busy weekend, was just packing up and doing a bunch of shit and moving, moving around and getting out of houses and apartments and combining shit. And I, uh, as I was driving, I, whatever, it was Monday, maybe Monday morning, I was bringing a, a trailer back to U-Haul. Mm. So I'm heading up, uh, to beautiful North Spokane, mm. Washington. It's gorgeous. it's gorgeous up there, right by, by the Y. I was at, well, not that far today. It's beautiful this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, it's a it's a good no, forty it, minute drive from my house. Yeah. So, and it's also it's in the same city. We got, they got some work to do up there, but <laughs> yeah. they're they're doing it. You know, they got to get that freeway done. That's it, the, it'll be done. I think you'll see the. I think it'll be finished anytime in our lifetime. No, nope. twenty no. more years. Twenty more years. Okay, we can make it. Uh, anyway, if you're from this area, you know what we're talking about. They basically are trying to build this like bypass north south freeway, and then they just keep cutting all the funding so it just gets built in fucking hundred yard chunks, <laughs> like one every three years. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> it looks great. Can't wait to drive on it. But I was driving up there, and I was uh, heading by a McDonald's, and it was actually the uh, the same McDonald's from the old man shitty fucking diaper story. Where Ezra and I were gagging oh, yeah. oh. and throwing up in our fucking sweatshirts. 
just the worst, right? So same one. But I'm cruising by and they have the little uh, sign out front like they do with the black lettering on it. And it just said, <laughs> it said the bagel breakfast sandwich is, and then all caps, finally <laughs> back. Finally. The bagel breakfast sandwich is finally back. And I read it. I didn't really think much of it. I was like, ah, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. But then the more I was driving, I was like, who the f- who's losing sleep o- over bringing the fucking bagel breakfast sandwich back? Like who? Why? Why is this so much excitement? All caps? <laughs> is like what? Is someone did, did another man drive by and just you know call? Yeah, what, yeah, babe. Are you you are not gonna believe what's back? Uh huh. Yeah, clear your schedule. <laughs> the bagel breakfast sandwich is here. Oh no, it's okay. We, no, I'll cancel golf. <laughs> we're eating fucking sandwiches this weekend. Woohoo! We're gonna we're gonna eat more bagel fucking what is it? Bre- bagel breakfast sandwich bagel, than we've ever No. We gotta load up because no. it's gonna be gone soon. More than last time. Right. Yeah, last time the bagel breakfast sandwich was back. Every time you eat a little bit more. Because mm-hmm. you'd never know if it's coming back. And and then also in that same vein, I was thinking about like the the limited time kind of offers, but where they always pitch like it's it's back. Sorry, for a limited time, right? Like, did they get it? They, what prompted this? Like, what thing on the food delivery system, on the distribution, did they get so much of? Like, do we, like, they're, the CEOs and stuff are on the phone. Like, do we get enough bagels to bring it back? <laughs> Can we bring it back yet? Can we bring it back? No, we don't have enough bagels yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, we gotta, people are getting antsy. People we got to get antsy. We have to bring this thing back. I've got several emails. <laughs> Gerald has called me like three times this week. And he's just, he's demanding we bring back the bagel breakfast sandwich. Yeah, you know, he's the guy that's retired and doesn't mm-hmm. have anything going on. And he, you mm-hmm. know, he loves those. He's not alone. Like, they're just having this weird conversation. He goes, I don't, I don't care what it takes. We need more bagels. <laughs> and he goes, okay, boss. Yes, sir. And he's just like, he's out on the streets. He's like, you know, doing the leg work, <laughs> walking around like. The like, CEO. He, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's handing out 20s, like in dark alleys. He's like. He's like, you hear some more bagels? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know if that's enough. He's like, well, I, mean, I heard some people talking about some bagels. He's I like, heard rumblings of bagels. <laughs> Maybe this will refresh your memory. <laughs> it brings another 20 out. Mm. And he's like, he's like, yeah, my buddy, my buddy, I, I my, buddy heard, my buddy Luis says. I may have heard something about that. I might that. have heard something. Yeah, I think there's a couple jalapeno cheddars, <laughs> at, le- at least 400. Here, you know, you have, to, you have to hit my buddy. He's like, thank you. Mm-hmm. And then pulls his trench coat up. Fucking walks off on a search. Walks back into the shadows. Fucking back into the sa- shadows to find some more bagels. <laughs> so they can finally bring back the bagel breakfast sandwich. But the same thing with the McRib. Like, yeah. <laughs> just, like it, this is just a matter of time for them to make the rib pressings. And they have to stockpile enough rib pressings to have a McRib off. I picture the, the, the people, like, you know, tomorrow is the day that we bring back the McRib. Mm-hmm. So I need everybody... Mm-hmm. On their A game, because yep. we're gonna have a line around the block. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're expecting this McRib, <laughs> and they're gonna get it. <laughs> they're gonna get their McRib. <laughs> and while this was on my mind, uh, a commercial came on, probably watching Game Show Network, and uh, it was a, a Honey Nut Cheerios commercial, mm. and it was the same type of shit. And it was like the shape, uh, probably upstairs. Uh, it was the, the shape that stole your heart, mm. and they brought back the heart shaped. Fucking Cheerio. I didn't know that existed. Who cared? Either. What? I didn't know that existed either. Who Exactly. They're telling me that, like, how pumped I should be that they put the Cheerio in a heart shape. <laughs> Fuck yeah, guys. Have you seen what Lucky Charms has been doing? <laughs> For years. <laughs> For decades. years. Have you seen the shapes over there? <laughs> like, I'm, that's, what cheer, that's what made Cheerios great. It was simple. Simple and Don't circle. be getting into the... Hard, hard thing, whatever. Fine. Don't don't get into the the the. the, the don't play into the hand of somebody else. Do what you do best, <laughs> and, to, and you make O's. Right, okay? you make a good O, a solid O, a heart healthy O. Uh, although the heart healthy part is funny too. Cause, yeah, because it's. I mean, it has yeah. an asterisk. Right, and if you read, it, it's like we don't know. <laughs> exactly. It well, was like, like it, it was like it's like uh, it's like nutrition's or uh, like vitamins like this like can help your heart, and those are in here. And it feels, <laughs> at the same time, it feels like, well, like if you took two people and you gave one guy Frosted Flakes and another guy Cheerios, yeah, Frosted cigarette. Flakes guy is probably, yeah, <laughs> probably going to have a heart attack first, right? So, yeah. I mean. <laughs> That's so funny. Technically. This, you look into the study and like they have the one guy that ate nothing but Cheerios. The other guy had Frosted Flakes and cigarettes. And a cigarette. <laughs> and then the other guy like had fucking 
whatever, Peppy or Fruity Pebbles and his cigarettes. And then like Big Macs and cigarettes. And he's like, yeah, fucking healthiest one was the guy that just ate the Honey Nut Cheerios. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even smoke. It was not, he didn't want to smoke. You he, know what? This will help you quit smoking. Yeah, he used to smoke. He used to smoke. He doesn't anymore. We can't technically <laughs> say that it'll uh, it'll make you quit smoking, <laughs> but, but we it'll but, be our little secret. But wink, wink. You might continue not smoking, right? <laughs> if you eat this, whoa. God, your phone, I hate it. It's R2D2. What's uh, it but anyway, that that popped up, and I was just creating a hype. And who is just spending time being so fucking pumped about a fast food burger sandwich thing coming back? So I've never had a McRib, but mm. I, I know I've heard about the McRib for years, and I know people get excited about the McRib. Mick missing out. I, uh, I never heard of the, the bagel sandwich, if yeah. I'm being honest. Okay. Well. So if you wouldn't have told me... Mm-hmm. And I saw the sign, I would have been like, what is that? Where is it? <laughs> Am I missing out? Yeah. I mean, they're just trying to create some FOMO. I, oh, I get it. It's a, it's all FOMO, and it's like it's... Sick marketing. I mean, it's it's all marketing. It's like, let's let's create nostalgia that doesn't exist mm-hmm. out of nothing, and you fell for it. Yep. yep. So... Yeah. Anyway, just uh, pass that along. My little brain thought. I might have to go in mi- a... Might- See? See? I was gonna say I might, maybe, have to I, might, I might have to Mick go and Mick head over and, and try one. <laughs> Mick drive over to a McDonald's and spend some Mick money. Mick bucks? What they call them? Oh. Was it Mick bucks? Is that a thing? Yeah, back at don't you get in, don't you be <laughs> yeah! I tell you, you what? fucking go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fuck go Mick get? I don't remember Mick Bucks. Yeah, I don't I'm not I sure. I just remember that's... Monopoly. Yeah, they had the dollars and stuff. Yeah, we'll talk we'll talk about the Monopoly. Mm. God, I miss it. They have a Monopoly on the <laughs> Monopoly on game? the kids' toys. Uh, all right, dick time. Can I, I say something really quick? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um it's so funny. We will go to McDonald's and my one of my, my youngest will want to make he'll want um <laughs> A um, uh, kids meal mm-hmm. and a happy meal, and then he like he won't even eat it, and he's just he wants the toy. Mm. But then w- as soon as we get out of the car and go in the house, he leaves the toy in the car. <laughs> so I bought him a fucking ten dollar thing. He didn't eat any of it, and then the toy he played with he, that he had to have just got left in the car. Yeah, went straight like, to the landfill. Are you fucking kidding me? Like McDonald's has got it figured out. That story right there is just birth control. <laughs> that's what that is mm. like if you ever like i don't know should i have kids just go back listen to this episode and be like nah, that sounds pretty fucking nutty mm. probably shouldn't do it <laughs> <laughs> huge waste of money those kids you know all i, I paid ten dollars for a, a toy that he played with for five minutes yeah cardboard box that's what happened yeah cardboard box and a toy that he threw away and i ate, ended up eating <laughs> the chicken nuggets <laughs> you would have eaten a fucking plain nothing pickles like maybe no pickles. No, he doesn't. No. He doesn't do any condiments. It's just the cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so nice. uh, then I end up eating that cold. Mm-hmm. And it's just not good. No, I'm just feeling sick. And then the, there's trash in the car. God, what a fucking world. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, all right, dick time. Yep. Okay, let's ride it. <laughs> Is it dumb? Is it interesting? Is it cool? Then it's dick big. Whew, you ready for a wild tale? <laughs> Tales of wilder than the the shirts we're wearing. Yeah, which I don't think it doesn't get much wilder than that. We're about to find the out. The more complicated the design, so, the better. When I read this headline, oh, okay, you're gonna you're you're gonna be like, this is crazy. But apparently, when they were writing this headline, whoever was writing it just couldn't figure out a way to put it all in. Mm. So you just get crazy parts. And then you keep reading, and you're like, this what the fuck? It says meth written all over it. Two men. Two men, two men plan to have large, quote, python eat woman's daughter before blowing up her house. That's fucking crazy. So right there, you're like, whoa. <laughs> that's, fucking crazy. Well, that's pretty fucking crazy, right? Uh, and it just keeps getting better. Authorities say 24-year-old Caleb Kinsey and 37-year-old Stephen Glosser, they had their whole life ahead of them, yeah. man, uh, conspired to harass, intimidate, injure, or kill the women or the woman who owned the house. They look like they would do that. They look like they would think that was a sick murder plot. Dude, oh, you! how has no one thought of this? <laughs> Dude, this is perfect. This is, I mean, it's a no-brainer. We're doing this. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely fucking bulletproof. <laughs> <sighs> so Glosser and the victim allegedly met on a dating app, but their relationship eventually went south, so they decided to block each other 
And that's when Kinsley got involved. He's like, no one blocks my bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know what we should do? Time for me to step in. This is going to sound crazy, but I think we should blow up your house. <laughs> Hold on. This might sound crazy. Don't, don't rule it out. Okay. Here you go. Ready? Here's the full rundown. Hmm. Blow up her house. <laughs> the men allegedly plan to shoot arrows into the victim's front door, <laughs> mail her dog feces or, or dead rats. <laughs> Wait, dog poop or, or dead rats? Like they were going, they were on the fence. Like they were like, how which? do you decide between those two things? <laughs> right. Like, like we could get dog food or, or we could find some dead rats. Or which, I mean, which if, w- if we have time, I feel like, I mean, there's do- dog poop, that's a given. Yeah. But fucking dead Shit, rats. I could take a dump and for all she knows, it's dog poop. Okay. So shoot arrows into the victim's front door, mail her dog feces or dead rats scalp her head, blow up the home, and then release a large python to eat her daughter. What the fuck? <laughs> that's so many different things. <laughs> it's like, that's like, that's like throwing darts mm-hmm. at just a bunch of ideas. Mm-hmm. And he's like, God, these are all great. <laughs> How do you choose just one of these? Because I, I mean, all of them are great. I think we go either way on the dead rats, dead rats and dog feces. Yeah. So let's get these other tarts out of here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's like Wiley e. Coyote on meth. Yeah. No shit. And he's, they're just standing back looking at it, like this is almost perfect. <laughs> <sighs> well, I feel like it's missing. <laughs> do we need to? Do we need to shoot the arrows in the front door? Yes, it symbolizes heartbreak. Right, Kinsey. I told you, if you're going to get involved, you and your snake are getting involved in this. Okay? <laughs> well, see, the arrow, all the arrows do is they, that's just a warm-up. Right. That's just to let no, let her know that, oh, shit, something's She's going gonna, down. And like you see that, you know you're probably going to get scalped. Right. Right? And then that's when we move on to phase two of the plan. Isn't that uh, cultural appropriation? What? Sh- arrows and scalping? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's part of the, that's what they got in trouble for. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else is just cultural appropriation. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. The attempted murder, eh. <laughs> I mean, blow up the house, the snake thing, and all that. He's like, no, we just care about the scalping and the arrows. We just think that's fucking crazy. Like, that's, we can't, that's not flying around here. Uh, so, WTOC, you know how much I love that. <laughs> yeah. They got to credit themselves. Reported that Glosser found the victim's home and built an explosive device along with Kinsey using Tannerite. A fun thing you shoot with guns and it blows up. More like Tanner wrong. Oh, you know dude, what I mean? that's fucking. Yeah! Tannerite is a brand of firearm. To, 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 I just said that. The two then use the device to blow up the woman's house. You know how much Tannerite you would need to blow no, up a house? I don't. Oh man. I mean, if you're just trying to blow like a like the front door off, like you could, you know, get a little brick. So you, you put like like a C4 brick essentially, mm. and then you shoot that with shoot a bullet it, and it blows and up. Okay. And then it explodes. Uh, but to that much to blow up a house? Are they using the arrows to do that? No, they that was a that was some Symbolic. Who do they think they are? Robin Hood? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking Robin Bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. More like fucking, fucking destroying Hood over no. here. Nice, dude. So <laughs> witnesses told investigators they saw a black SUV leaving the scene, which was determined to be Kinsey's car. These guys are just fucking so good. Police served <laughs> a search a warrant on it. Kinsey and Glosser's home. It's and got the f- last name and... In, in letters <laughs> on the back window, you know? Customized plate, it says mm-hmm. Kinsey. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, what the fuck are they doing? Uh, but they, they're they in trouble for all the things that you, you know, think that you'd be in trouble for trying to do something like that. Except for culture appropriation. Yeah. I don't see that on the no, list. Not on the list. They uh, Maybe we, the detectives missed that one, but we caught it. Yeah, we, we caught did. it right away. Yeah. But just the the planning. Of these guys just in a basement. Wait, fucking smoking cigarettes, one solo light kind of swinging mm-hmm. a little bit <laughs> over a makeshift coffee table they made out of a fucking old French door. And they, they put the plans and they, they roll it out. <laughs> they roll it out and it's a it's a fucking etch a sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Was the snake somebody's or were they gonna He's have trying- to go buy a snake? I don't, it, I don't know. Detail didn't make the news article. That what? He's trying to write. He's like, "What do you need, Python?" He goes. He's Snakes trying to. Skin. He's like, "You know how hard peas are <laughs> <laughs> on a fucking etch a sketch." How am I going to connect a P and a Y? <laughs> he, he's like, he's like, I need a beer. <laughs> like his knee hits the table, <laughs> just shakes <laughs> the whole plan. God, he, that's what happened. And he's like, "Fuck, was it male or dog feces or dead yeah. rats?" What'd we go with? Fuck. Uh, we'll just do both. We'll just do both. We'll just do both. Man, what a wild tale. 
<laughs> He's uh, like, the dead rats would be cheaper. <laughs> it, I mean, well, we have to go on a scavenger hunt, but... You know, you have a dog who's catch their it shit. It doesn't say where the fucking python came from? Not in the article. How does that... Okay, can we talk about the, whoever investigated this? Mm. The TV news or whatever? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of the questions you should ask, right? Yeah. Like, where were you planning on getting this python? <laughs> were they going to steal a python? And then why? Like, why is that the thing? And just going to eat the daughter? <laughs> what the fuck? What'd she do to you? She didn't block you. But also, you got blocked after a relationship. Calm down. I love the 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 idea that when they're talking about okay, well, how are we going to kill the daughter without making it not seem suspicious and get rid of the evidence? Yeah, it's like <laughs> the only thing notice. I could think of is like a <laughs> giant snake. Just notice that the python is wearing like a fucking spandex human suit in its belly. Like it's just like I don't think I found the daughter. It's a perfect outline of a person <laughs> yeah. in their in the snake's stomach. <laughs> Oh, there it is. I guess we'll just just cut kidnap this out. the daughter and throw her in a ditch. <sighs> I mean, don't, don't ma- I don't want to have to do your job for you. But, but I mean, I've, I've seen enough fucking shows. Yeah, fucking don't do it. Don't I don't do that. want to kill her daughter, <laughs> but I guarantee you, I'm not using a python. All uh, right, you want to let's talk about some sex stuff. I mean, we all you like sex? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Do you want to read some of this? I'll read some of it. Because we got these two articles. Uh, I don't want to get too boned up. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's okay. You're wearing this. You can cam- camouflage your boner. Not this one. It's oh. not. Remember? This oh, yeah. Is, you're wearing Cassie's. Yeah. Little, little snug. Um, It's kind of it's kind of a weird story. Yeah. I mean, Elizabeth Hurley's attractive, right? Yeah. Maybe not after you read this one. She's one of my favorites. This one is mild. The next one, it's just they get a little progressively wilder. Okay. But there's not, I mean, there's not, it's just the situation of this one. Mm-hmm. And when we pull up the article uh, for the YouTube viewers to look, just look at the son's face. Because what is happening with that face? You mean what's the happening? In, yeah. What is yeah, happening yeah. in Hollywood? Yeah. I mean, he's a pretty guy. Well, that face scares the shit out of me. Yeah. And when we read the article, you're going to know what's like, why? You're like, oh, yeah, duh. She still looks good. Man, she's hot. Okay. All right. Elizabeth Hurley felt safe filming sex scene directed by her son. <laughs> Could you imagine filming your... And that's why I'm saying like, this guy, he okay, was like... My mom likes her nipples mm-hmm. squeezed. No, yeah, I know this. I know this from experience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she loves him getting sucked on. Mm. Yeah. I know that from experience. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, my dad really likes to go town on her, uh, on her <laughs> I mean, thorax. You know, I've seen it. It's cool. All right. Elizabeth Hurley said she felt liberated while filming a sex scene in a new movie directed by her son, Damien Hurley. Strictly confidential. The 21 year old's directorial debut is a thriller about a woman whose best friend kills herself. Sick plot. Some ex users were shocked when they discovered Elizabeth Hurley would fear, uh, would appear in a sex scene in her son's movie. The closeness of the 58-year-old and her son previously caused controversy when she told Watch What Happens Live in 2008 that her son took her bikini photos. Okay. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. On access, Living in their own fucking bubble. Yeah. Got it. Um, they defended mm-hmm. the bikini photography. Of course. And the erotic movie. Mm-hmm. You got to double down on that. Mm-hmm. People find this really controversial, Damon Hurley said, of the bikini pictures. Show business has been a fundamental part of my entire life. So to us, it's just not a thing. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm, Not a problem. Do you want me to play the video? No. Okay. Don't worry about that. (laughs) Elizabeth Hurley said her son looked after her, which is why she felt comfortable shooting a sex scene in the upcoming movie and letting her son take her bikini pictures. Like, now I know my son is like... if. If the actor starts getting a little bit too grabby, mm-hmm. or if he's not turning me on enough, mm-hmm. my son's going to know what to do. He's going to step in and make sure things are fine. To keep my vagina wet. Right. So, a little creepy. And again, they, they have their experiences, and they have their own world. And from the outside looking in, you're like, that's fucking weird. Right? But I don't look in, I don't work in Hollywood. I've never been in the, like a, a, in the position where I'm going to be directing a movie. But also, uh, my mom is an actress, and there's a sex scene in it, right? Um, But from the outside, it looks fucking pretty crazy. But not nearly as crazy as this next story. But, yeah, I want to... So, just... I've never been... I'm not... The actors are like... They're... They get... 
they just go inside their acting in their character, and yeah. it's like they like don't they like disassociate they, from yeah, themselves. Yeah, it's like you you have a sex scene with the with someone. I mean, like, there's people that aren't gay who can have a full on graphic gay nude uh, like sex scene, right? And to them, they're just acting. But to someone who's not like that, it's mm-hmm. like oh, I'd have a hard time doing that just because I'm not attracted to that. So it'd yeah. be weird. Mm-hmm. But to them, it's like they're just acting. You're so right. they're doing the same thing. Totally get it. Like that, I I can see a separation between these two, mm-hmm. like I don't know, like sex and openness and like just not making it weird and having a bunch of social parameters set on it. If you're able to eliminate all those and you're just doing your job, but at the end of the day, like you're filming your mom getting fucked, mm. like that's the whole point of what you're doing, and you're just sitting there looking. And I haven't seen the scene, but I'm guessing it's some no t- penetration, right? I have, probably not. I have no. I haven't seen it. I mm. haven't seen it. Uh, I'm going to, but I haven't yet. And <laughs> Like, I'm so, watch like right I now. get it. Like you can kind of, you can figure it out. It's work. It's I'm just doing my job. Mm-hmm. I, that's fine. But all of that just sets up this next, this okay. next step. Okay. So son of OnlyFans model admits, admits that he films her content for her. That's a little different. <laughs> <sighs> Guys. And again, nothing, nothing illegal happening here. Right. It's not like this is like they're, they're doing anything. He's just holding the camera. Well, mom fucking fingers herself. Yeah, rubs the pink canoe, paddles the pink canoe. You know? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I. <sighs> Does she need someone to hold the camera? No. But I'm guessing like there's certain Tripod. shots that they're on, like they're on, like on the go. Like the mom on the go. She's, you know? She's yeah, she's busy. She's mm-hmm. a mom. Yeah. She's getting the kids dressed for school and fingering herself at the same time. And my first thought was maybe that she's just like trying to make a living. Maybe the only fans account is growing, but it's not quite there where you can't like hire she's someone trying to put food on the table that there's, that you can't hi- hire someone who's not your son. Right. Like you just got, it's not in the budget. That's nepotism also. <laughs> like it's not in the budget yet. Yeah. Uh, no, she has over 3 million followers on Instagram and her only fans account is super successful. Maybe she just wants to keep it in the family. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You don't want to, Definitely don't want to pay someone 50 bucks to come film you. That'd be weird to have a stranger filming you, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. jamming a dildo. Yep. But it, ha- it says this in the article. It says, while many creators might hire someone to film their content for them, for them, Odessa decided to keep the business within the family Yeah, as her son shoots things for her. During an Instagram question and answer last summer, Odessa's son, Arthur, who was 18 at the time. So you think that... Like, for his 18th birthday, he was just given permission to film his mom. Yeah, it's like, well, you're an adult now, so... Sucking a dick. And I don't... I, I'm not, I haven't seen the OnlyFans account. I don't know exactly what the content is, but I know what OnlyFans is, and I know what the content is typically on OnlyFans, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so it says, Arthur, are you the one who films Odessa's OnlyFans? He goes, yep. I'm really badass with pictures, right? <laughs> what an 18-year-old fucking <laughs> response. <laughs> yeah, how, how's I that? I do, like, sick pictures Dude, and stuff. you seen that lighting? fucking so cool for many people the idea of shooting such content of their parents would be well unimaginable but arthur appeared unfazed but while he doesn't seem to be bothered others were i mean religious groups in particular don't care about that i'm just saying at a at a relationship level with your with your mom if you're just filming her like and just and doing crazy fucking only fans content how is there any sort of like healthy boundaries set up feel like you can figure it out but like I, you have to do your homework and then as soon as you're done you're gonna watch me play with my pussy yeah and you're like okay mom do i have to <laughs> i i want to i want to get on call of duty tonight it's like you do you want to eat this month yeah do you want to i mean do you like the food i'm giving you yes then you'll watch me fucking shove this in my pussy do you okay. want to eat this cucumber <laughs> later <laughs> yeah then you're gonna watch me fuck put myself it, with it put it in my butt yeah. and you're gonna film it God, mom God, all my friends are going to the movies. And I'm sit- sitting at home making we're, movies. We're with filming you. a movie. God, Jeff- Jeffrey, mom. whatever his name is. God, he's just like muttering like the, the teenage angst stuff as he walks away. <sighs> he goes, God, I'm so sick of your fucking pussy. <laughs> and slams his door. Well, what's funny is like his friends. Mm. He's like, oh, sorry, I can't go tonight. Uh, my mom, she's doing this new thing where she's like jamming fish in her vagina. Mm-hmm. And I gotta film it, so <laughs> so fucking lame. So we'll but... come to your house. Yeah, are you busy? Yeah. Fuck. Is, I mean, you coming to the party tomorrow night? You going to prom? 
No, my mom's got a fucking double penetration scene. It's a big I night. F- I got a film. Yeah, it's a it's a high traffic night. So. <laughs> we've, we've already postponed it twice. We're, we're trying to pay for my college here. <laughs> yeah, we've already postponed it twice. I can't believe how hard it is to fucking book a schedule when there's two dicks involved. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how busy people are. <laughs> how busy people are. Like some nights this dick's there, and sometimes <laughs> this dick can make it. But tonight for sure, my mom said these two dicks can make it. So. <laughs> <laughs> we've got it confirmed we got, we got it confirmed that i guess i gotta be there i gotta film my mom. we have a heart out though <laughs> yeah i mean and I a hard in too <laughs> i should be over by nine okay we come pick <laughs> once me up. the guys blow their loads all over her titties then i'll be uh, <laughs> i'll text you i just gotta grab a couple towels <clears throat> clean, up, clean up my mom and then i'll be over well clean up if i can eat a cucumber and i'll be over <laughs> Uh, <laughs> got one uh all right well that was it just that's wild that's can't wild, imagine man. it i get it it's fine people are able to separate make things worse or make things work but <laughs> it seems like the family dynamics could be a little fucked if you're filming your mom touching your puss okay think about here's a scenario for you that well, i mean we're in the realm what if it was the other way around and what if it was a dad that had an, an only fans with a daughter and he hired his daughter to do it <sighs> welcome to jail motherfucker I'm just curious, like, how right? that would... Right? There's, there's no way that it would not work. Like, and that is... I didn't even think how, about that. How come it can work this way? Mm, I mean, it shouldn't. I mean, we're talking about how it's not okay. If he... I mean, obviously, if but the dad I was not forced the daughter jail to time. do it. Yeah, right. Uh, and again, like, I'm also projecting and just trying to make the content extreme as possible with, like, I don't know if he was filming her touching her pussy. Right? So he might have just been filming content where she's like in lingerie, right? Teasing content. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I, so I don't know. I didn't go. I didn't go and look. I wasn't going to fucking sign up for OnlyFans to be super educated about the son filming the mom. They should do account. free trials. Do they do free trials? I'm sure they do. I'm sure there's a couple freebies in there. You want to make sure you're like you're like oh how, how big does it gape? Uh, is it is it going to make me excited? Is it going to make me ge- or is it like <laughs> is it a tease thing? Like how's the gape? <laughs> How's it, what's the, what's the gape like? No, listen, your, I'm you know. down for I mean, four ninety nine a month sounds like a hell of a bargain, <laughs> but how's the gape? <laughs> yeah. Per gape per capita. How, yeah. What's the and people are like coming in, be like, I don't know, man. I've seen a pretty good gape. <laughs> and there's there's a couple of good good gapes in here. Like, how good? How good's the gape? <laughs> Is it worth four ninety nine a month, Pff, bro? Dude, it's like a cup of coffee. Dude, it's worth five ninety nine. Easy. One day, just one day a week. Just don't get that cup of coffee, dude. Fucking, See all the gape you can <laughs> fucking gape it up. Gape ape. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move off to some petty beef. Okay, it has we. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah, no petty beef. Okay. Yeah. Zach, silence in the court. You are now entering the petty beef courtroom, where all sides of some bullshit will be heard and evaluated. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final-ish. This is Petty Beef. Picture my fucking mom naked. You having to film my mom for an OnlyFans account? Well, I mean that to be to be fair, Your that mom's one's hot. Yeah, like that that was a hot mom. Have you seen my mom? No. Just kidding. Um, okay, so Petty Beef. I just want to make things awkward. Uh, for this week, sent in by a man at the end of his rope. <laughs> and he writes, sup guys. Sup, dude. Sup. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is the spot to put my petty beef, but fuck it. This needs to be addressed. He sent it in through our Instagram this is account. The perfect. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant is this the platform <laughs> to be. Just, yeah. I don't know. I mean, is this the is this the one podcast that has a thing called petty beef? <laughs> uh my fiance and I live together in a nice home in the suburbs of Philadelphia. Beautiful. <laughs> Downtown Philly. Where it's always sunny. Inside this home, things go down. Mm. Something that will ruin any man. Oh. What my fiance does is absurd. She will clean the surfaces of things, and anything on the surface goes either, one, in a random fucking drawer, (laughs) or really any open spot that an item can fit into, (laughs) to be honest. That's so funny. I see it. Number two, into the ether to never be found again. <laughs> she says she doesn't move things, but she does. I found half drank water bottles in the snack cabinet along with kitchen scissors. I need to know if anyone else <laughs> has a spouse or partner that does the same thing to them and if they are, uh, and if they are still around. Law. 
<laughs> Love this damn show so much. Your loyal silly goose, Brian Jr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. What's up, son? Oh, that's my boy. This is a, good, this is a fun one because just from past petty beefs and us knowing each other and being friends, I think there'll be uh, a different take on this. What do you, what do you, what do you think? Well, first of all, tell my daughter-in-law mm. she needs to get her shit together. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Ah, uh, cleaning, cleaning counter, hiding scissors. It's funny because I, I think, I think women. Well, so like my wife, she, she's very much likes to know. Where, she's like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna decorate the house because I know all that kind of stuff. I'm, I, I, she likes to put things away. Because she likes to know where they're at. Mm-hmm. And I, I really do think that a lot of ladies that are like that, they have in their head, they're thinking, I'm cleaning up and putting the stuff away. But then they just like don't realize that you're not going to know where they put the stuff. And mm-hmm. the argument could be, well, don't leave your stuff around. Don't mm-hmm. don't leave your wallet or laying around, your hat laying around if you don't want me to put it somewhere. But I th- think there's a legitimate, like something's missing there between... You obsessing where things go and not knowing that I don't now I don't know where they are. If you're obsessed about where things go, then you put them there. Like you need to just have this. How did the scissors end up out in a spot where the scissors could go somewhere where you didn't want the scissors? And if it was you that left them out, then like you're you're kind of fighting uphill because you put them out. So put the scissors back where they go. I get that. I get that. I uh, I think the part that. Is the like the the extra like little juice on this argument is when he he wrote in here that she says that she doesn't move things. She goes, I don't know. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't touch it. Like I don't. Well, didn't it fucking float into the cabinet? Mm-hmm. Like how did the how did the water bottle get up in the snacks? How how did that happen? Did a ghost do it? A ghost used all his energy to move your water bottle where, to buy the cheese its He had a little bit of energy that day, and that's what he chose to do. Yeah, he's like, oh, what can I do to this family? Let them know I'm here. God, I'm, I'm going to put this piece of bread over here by the hats. Oh, shit. All I did was create an argument between this, this couple. It did nothing for me. <laughs> but I get to watch it. That's fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he starts making popcorn while they're he's arguing. Like, he's like, oh, dude. Oh, she's going to get so pissed. Watch this. <laughs> they're fighting and there's like there's like a, a little teacup, like taking a <laughs> sip, floating, <laughs> just watching. <laughs> Watching the couple fight, God, that'd blow your mind. Yeah, it would. It? And he's like, "Oh shit! Oh, and, you bitch! What? Are you? Yeah, I think it's the. You see that? <laughs> and he just, and then he just drops. Mm-hmm. Just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> downstairs, squeaking down the stairs. Squeak, squeak, going slow. Why are you running? You're invisible. God, you always such forget. an idiot. You always forget they can't see you. Just stay there. Why are you running? It would be weird to forget that you're invisible and you're standing two feet from somebody. <laughs> And you realize though they can't see you, but you forget. Like, oh yeah, or a little moment you think they see you. Yeah, they look at you, and you're like, <laughs> they yeah, they both do this, and you're like, <laughs> you hold still. The floor's like, and they're like, did you hear that? Mm-hmm. You're like, <laughs> just trying so hard, like some sort of ghost code, <laughs> like Andy right. in Toy Story. There's always like I'm a little blow code up for everybody. Oh God, I'm, I'm getting so much trouble. <laughs> I'm never gonna get to come back to Spokane. <laughs> It's my favorite place the ghost to haunt. Police. It's my favorite place to haunt. It's the Ghostbusters. They come for you. Cleaning up. I, I I've touched on this in in the past on petty beefs, where like I I've always had a problem with like things going almost back to where they go, like so close. Like you're like you're working on something, and uh, I think the most recent one I talked about was the vacuum, and a lot of people wrote in about this. Which was funny because they like they were listening, and then across their room was the vacuum was still mm. left out with the cord. The cord, yeah. But they haven't vacuumed for a couple of days. <laughs> Instead of just putting it back where the vacuum goes, it just sits somewhere else. Uh, but that type of stuff does bug me. Like you walk in, it's like oh, and like the the coat goes on the chair, and then two more feet you could put it on the coat rack. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just just fucking hang your coat up. Yeah. Don't put it on the back of a chair. <laughs> it's right there. Or um, like working on a project and you get done and you take all your shit and then you go to the garage and then you just like put it in the garage, but don't put it where it goes in the garage. Mm-hmm. Like your hat, you just 
A little more. You were and it so starts close. to pile up, yes. too. And it just sits there until somebody else fucking moves it. <laughs> so just take the one more minute it takes to put the fold-up chair over where the fold-up chairs go, and don't just lean it by, on the garage door. Like, just keep going. Dude, when it, when my don't wife's stop. gone, like, she's gone for a weekend, I... the. The dishes and trash will stack up Ugh, so fast. I hate you. And then, and then an hour before she's get, I do like just yeah. super clean. Yeah, like it looks like. How far out are you? Uh, about an hour. And you're yeah. like, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I guess. Like doing windmills and stretching your hamstrings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I move that fast. I don't want to pull anything. But it's like it looks like. Wow, you kept this place. Nice. And it's like, oh, yeah, you should have seen it an hour ago. Of course I did. I love you. I never would. I wouldn't, fucking, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you, babe. I love you. Or whatever. And uh, then she walks in. You're doing, the, like, you're scrubbing the last oh, bit of shit. the counter. And she, so she sees you doing it. Oh, damn. Didn't see you Woo. walk in. She was like, just, I told you I was almost here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Is that already? Was that Shoot. already? I thought that was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I just, she has missed you so much. It feels like it <laughs> took forever. You're just wearing, you're wearing her underwear, <laughs> fucking scrubbing the floor. Oh my god, when did you get here? We, ju- I just talked to you ten minutes ago and said I was almost home. Oh, <laughs> wearing her underwear. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> just getting this one more, one more spot. Uh, have, have you ever done anything like uh, whether you know, like w- when they're gone for the weekend, you're just like, you just you're like. Do anything sexual, masturbation wise, or, or anything like that, to where you like got out all the, pulled out all the stops, mm-hmm. and then you, you treat, and then you treat yourself right. You forgot, and then like, and then you walk in the room, you're like, holy shit, and then you're like, woo. But what, what's all? What's all the stops? I'm curious. Go. <laughs> no, nothing specific. Ready, go. I'm just imagining like toys or whatever, mm-hmm. like that she didn't know you had, or mm. she does know you had, but you don't. She doesn't know you really use them when you're not <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. But, and then, so you're like, oh, I'll clean that up later. And yeah. then you're like, holy shit. If she would have walked in. <laughs> woof, <laughs> wow. Uh, nope. I, no, I don't, I've never had that. But I can see that happening. Like, uh, I mean, I've had that. Cassie and I have had that happen, but not like out. But just like the bag of fun was out. Bag of toys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was just out. But it wasn't like put away under the bed. A like tripod it, no, and everything. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple people there that we thought left. Uh-huh. Still, <laughs> they asleep. were there for the gangbang, but they were good. Like they were, they were right on. They pretended to be a butler. Mm. Yeah, and the other one They've was done that before. Yeah, the other one was a landscaper. <laughs> <laughs> they <Hop. just> snap. <laughs> You're like shit. Like you guys are still here. You're like I know what to do. They he's, hop out the window. He's and like, <laughs> like pulls a. Like, turns into a maid. Yeah, he just he start, has, his, a, has a duster. <laughs> he rips his clothes off, and underneath there's a. <laughs> uh, it's all your. Care. It's all your wife's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, how's this gonna help? Because I don't know. I didn't <laughs> think this through. <laughs> so now your kids walk in instead of just seeing a man, they see a stranger in. <laughs> Cassie's underwear, and you're like, this is not good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not good with kids. Uh, I know. <laughs> well, you've made that very clear. Are you my new daddy? Uh, nope. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. You tell me what you ask your dad about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, but I get this man's frustration about things disappearing, going in random places. I do get it. Mm-hmm. But I think we've come to the same conclusion where if you don't want them to go to a random ass spot, then uh, you put them away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you, you know that she clearly likes to have things clean at any cost. So the ca- anything that's on the counter is going to go into a place. So if you want that to not happen, then you don't put shit on the counter. I think we've, I mean, we've touched on this before and yeah. that's what are, we always go off on some tangent and then we come back with the real answer. And mm. it's, if you have a problem with somebody else doing it, f- do whatever you can to fix the, the no. problem. Don't always expect them to change or whatever. Mm-hmm. So... That falls in line here too. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it might be annoying what she does, but there's a way to prevent that. Is the way to not let her. Yeah, fuck but it up. but also when she is picking up the counter, if it is because it's a t- it's a team it's a tag effort. It's teamwork to keep a house clean. Like a half empty water bottle does not go in the snacks. It gets dumped in the sink and put where the water bottles go. I get it. Or in the fridge or something. Something. Yeah, something where those things go. So I do get that frustration. Um, but uh, but you could do it too. See I've never works. left a water bottle. I, I have. So, I, I'm a water cup guy. I'll leave a water cup next no, to the sink. No, a cup, yes. Yeah. I'm saying a water bottle. 
Yeah. Water bottle nightstand. I've, I've never not was, drank a whole one is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You just, mm. I, I just oh, I was thinking like a, a wa bottle of water. Mm. Ah, that's good water. Yeah. God, Spokane water, you know. Yeah. Pretty good this time of year. Yeah. Well, it's, it's all the uh, snow runoff. <laughs> yeah, it's coming downstream, baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are we done with the petty beef? Yeah. Want I think... Uh, once we, we cleared we, that I, up. I feel like we helped a little bit. <laughs> uh, good news? Yeah. All right. Zach! So you're telling me there's a chance. Hooray. We aren't doomed. Yeah! All right. This is some happy, happy news. But first, let's do it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! Mm. <laughs> yeah! I wonder yeah. if I can combine this one. Hold on. Yeah! I'm a little late. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, eh. And the same thing with the, the hot air balloon, like, zapped into the power line story. Whenever the mummy sound makes the rounds, that is our entire... Social feed. Mm -hmm. like it comes back around and they're like, oh, this is that. Mm -hmm. They send it over, like, oh, yeah, we know. We know. It's a whole <laughs> button. You got you to gotta check this out, man. <laughs> so, this is this make your heart feel good. Okay. But for years, Bill walked six miles to work until she gave him a lift and then started a rideshare service just for him. Oh, Bill. He looks like he smells. I mean, sure, but six <laughs> fucking six miles? Anyway. Uh, Bill, last well, name you would smell. is so Polish. Moksulowski? Moksulowski. Moksulowski. Bill Moksulowski. It's probably not even, it's probably silent. It's probably Mosulowski. Mo Mo Mosul really? Bill Mosulowski. Uh, he walked six miles to work at a local Walmart as a night shift janitor, but that all changed the day a woman stopped and offered him a ride. Christy Conrad learned that despite being legally blind, he possessed a steadfast determination to trudge in any kind of weather in order to get to work. I picked him up in nine degrees the other morning, said Christy, who also learned that he used to ride a bike until he got hit by a car. So Bill's been through some shit. Yeah, he is. Uh, but Christy has her own family and couldn't always be there, so she started a Facebook group to seek other volunteers who could give him a lift. Mr. Bill's Village soon attracted <laughs> over a thousand members who wanted to keep an eye out for the man walking in camouflage jacket at sunset or sunrise. That's such a cute little community. Mm -hmm. One group one group member said it's now like a competition. Who can give Bill a ride today? <laughs> like they're No, I'm here first! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Honey, go get fucking Bill! <laughs> like just peeling out. I was here first! Demo Derby to they're, get Bill. They're fucking like they're fighting. Bill's just standing there in his fucking camouflage jacket. He's like, like see, waiting to see who wins so he can go home. Well, he can't see who wins, though, right? Well, legally blind, but he's got to be able to see oh. a little, little something. Little something. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of good people in the world all over this place, Bill told Steve Harmon and this CP and his CBS News crew who recently visited you know, Cap Cabot, Cabot, Arkansas, uh, to tell this heartwarming story. I'm glad that Steve Harmon and his crew made the news article. That was really cool that they made sure that his name was in there, like that was important, that we had to make sure. Mm -hmm. that uh, Bill talked to Steve Harmon, okay, over there at the CBS News crew. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Get his profile. Yeah, him. that's really great, Steve. I'm happy. And they, he, they put a link to his... To his profile. Let's, right. go, let's go ahead and see where that yeah, goes. Let's see where it goes. So, uh, for you... Oh, <laughs> it Only just, fans. It just goes to another article about it. <laughs> but this one's by Steve Harmon. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is. I was kidding, and now it is. Oh, what a fucking tool. <laughs> Just help people. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we got to make sure we get the story out. But God, most just, importantly, you've got to make sure that I got this story out. God, I mean, it's a feature piece and I get it and you're linking around. But God, man, news articles with the credit stuff. First reported by WPHT yeah. Philadelphia. A story you'll see only on... Only on KXLY 4 News Now. <laughs> with Dennis Patchen. Is he still there? No. No. Who's there now? And he was a sports guy. Derek Dice? He's still going? Yeah, he's there. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Spoke in right Shut now. They're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Him. Shout out to D Dice. I like, I like D Dice. He's I grew good. up with him. Man, good guy. Good guy. All right, let's take a look Graduated at something funny. With his brother. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah. yeah. Fucked his sister. Uh, my, my cousin played <laughs> ball with him, yeah. basketball with sports with him. Oh, I've known him my whole life. Yeah. And then I worked with him. Yeah. Yeah. You, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Wild. Worked with his wife first, mm -hmm. and then, then he came on board. Who's the wife? 
I'm not gonna name everybody. <laughs> just, I know her name, but I'm not gonna name her. Uh, okay, let's look at something we found on the internet. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Zach. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes, that's awesome. I felt like Esteban right there. Uh, what? Remember the the late night infomercial with Esteban who was selling his acoustic <laughs> with his crack nail? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, nylon strings. Uh, yeah. Well, no, right no, tone? no. It was no. It was just like a cheap, like an Epiphone type of, mm. but it was Esteban brand or what? I don't remember what it was. Nice. But uh, yeah, that's what I felt like right Taking there. Taking it for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, that nice. sounds. This is his. This is uh, his custom tailor that I'm going to take home with me. Well, you're not taking that. Yeah. No. I mean, me five grand. Yeah. Don't let him take that. Five grand, maybe. Five grand, maybe. Maybe. And then I'll just come steal it back. I play guitars that. Huh? Sounded better than that. There weren't five grand. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't brought that thing into the recording studio. Yeah, that's true. And that thing has old ass strings on it. Yeah. And put some, put oh. some new. It already sounds like. I'm fucking, I'm telling you. Can we end the show so I can play it? <laughs> uh, this was sent in by our daughter, Amber. Okay. Like, clearly some kind of spoof joke, but it is out there and I want people to know about it. I like when Amber calls me daddy. <laughs> It's because it's my wife. Yeah, nice. Uh, <laughs> I like when my daughter's my wife. <laughs> That's my favorite part about being a dad. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of being about an uncle is having a wife as a daughter. <laughs> well, you know what Look I'm doing? It. Yeah! Uh, so you know Ouija boards? Yeah! You ever thought about why they just don't have the opposite? Like a Holy Spirit board? I... No, I guess I didn't. Well, mm-hmm. I thought they were. Well, I thought, I mean, think about it. You're like, I don't know, contacting the dead. And then there's this crazy demonic connotation with uh, Ouija boards. But they yeah. don't. Why does it have to be scary? It doesn't have to be scary. And introducing. Because all it is is someone that you're doing it with moving it around. I don't, okay, don't get into the science of it. Okay, Brian. Oh, yeah. Don't bring science into anything. Uh, we want everybody thinking. <laughs> this is on Amazon and for only $29.95. Only $29.95. You can get the Holy Spirit board. And it says, communicate directly with Jesus Christ. That picture of Jesus. It looks like a... This fella? He looks like he's in, <laughs> like he man, like a villain in He-Man. <laughs> he does. He does it. Yeah. That's what Skeletor looks underneath his mm-hmm. skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> uh, Goodbye, Jesus. Yeah, but it comes uh, uh, the uh, planchette is a cross, and then it has a bunch of symbols on it. Oh God! And then there's Jesus on a cross. Yeah, no, no. hanging with Jesus. Yes, no, and then the bottom it just says "Goodbye, Jesus." <laughs> like you're just getting off a pleasant chat, mm. little phone call. Uh, not my favorite. I mean, not that I'm not going to buy it. Obviously, jokes, right? Mm. Uh, it doesn't have great reviews. Yeah, I bet. Uh, and some of them are great, and some of them are just... I don't, I'll read them. Ready? So Bobby writes, never worked Ouija boards or spirit boxes. Uh, never worked. Okay, he missed the <laughs> yeah, so punctuation. Right. Ouija boards or spirit boxes work better like the PSB7 spirit box. <laughs> I don't know why. And then two people found that helpful. <laughs> They're like, like oh, oh yeah, dude. I, was, I mean, I, I was thinking that's this, what I was gonna say. I was thinking this was a waste of money, but now I don't need to write the review. I'm gonna use that twenty nine ninety five <laughs> towards a PBS seven spirit box. I'm just gonna give that straight to the church. Uh, this was sent in by K. It is a waste of money. It is just a joke. It makes fun of all religions. Okay, take How a does joke. That? I don't know, but twenty people found it helpful. Uh, Jerry wrote, "I carefully read the reviews before getting the product." And I based the reviews on my purchase. I was hoping I'd be able to talk to Jesus, and so far, nothing. This is so disappointing. All I keep getting is some raspy-voiced man. <laughs> 555 people yeah, they got found the, it helpful. They got the joke. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so at least they got it. Oh, just raspy. I'm just trying to talk to Jesus. This one guy keeps sticking this, in the fucking way. This guy that smells like a... F- or He's fucking like, he pops in he, he's like hello you looking for me get out of the way I'm out of the for, way looking for jesus <laughs> take your cigarette and get out of here well, i mean i could push points in the right direction <laughs> i mean yeah. j- i mean just say it say it. i mean I, I know the guy i met him i met him get out of the I used fucking to, way i used to hang with jesus this isn't jesus 
<laughs> uh, this is one that says, this is very disappointing on all levels. It is very misleading to anyone who does disgusting. not... Disgusting. Oh, very disgusting. Sorry. On all levels, it is very misleading to anyone who does not know Jesus <laughs> or how to truly get to him. Yeah, but you know the way, don't mm-hmm. you? You are leading people straight to Hades. Oh, all just to make a few bucks. It's probably wise to stop selling these. What? Yeah, they're. Yeah, I'm sure they're <laughs> He's super worried. feeling really... He's like, he's up at night. He'd be like, babe, I don't know. It seems like we're having a lot of bad luck lately. You think I should pull the Holy Spirit board off of Amazon? <laughs> she's like, I don't, she's all put, taking the jewelry off and putting it in a little box. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Things have been going pretty well, I thought. I think things were going pretty good. <laughs> uh, I think we should ask the, the Spirit. He, put, he puts his hands on the, on the cross planchette and it just like moves around. It's like, should I stop? And I'm just like, his wife, no. His wife, yeah, just <laughs> no. moves it over. He just goes, no, goodbye, Jesus. <laughs> Well, that was easy. All right. Well, that was easy. He just folds it back up. <laughs> Guess I'll keep Good printing night. money. Yeah. <sighs> Good night. Uh, yes, Jesus will talk to you, but this game is totally not needed at all. If you want to talk to Jesus, just say his name and talk to him. <laughs> hey, Jesus, where are you at? You don't need a stupid board. <laughs> yeah. Just talk to Jesus. <laughs> just call him up. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy sitting here with your silly board. Just talk to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> not going to get into you it. You got to get on your knees. Yeah. That's how it works. God has provided a wonderful way to talk with God's self and hear God's voice. It's called prayer. It's free. Though it needs you to sit in silence to hear a quiet voice. No glossy board needed. <laughs> Just missing the point. Just oh, missing. yeah. Just missing Well, it. yeah, they're obviously yeah. I mean, very they, upset. They clearly have it all figured out. You just all you gotta do is just you're doing it all say, wrong. Hey Jesus, what you doing out there tonight? You're doing it all wrong. What you need to do is go to a special building. <laughs> you put money into this thing, and then mm-hmm. you eat you, Jesus. You don't need a board, you fucking idiot. You just have to eat his body. Just fucking. go to the building, talk to the guy in the robe, give them money, eat the bread, and talk to the ceiling. That's how you <laughs> talk to Jesus. <laughs> You don't need a glossy fucking board. When do I do this? Hmm? Only Three. on Sundays. <laughs> yeah. And then one Wednesday out of the year. Mm-hmm. Right. You just got a little, Wait. rub a little dirt on your face. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, it's available on Amazon if you want it. Uh, hear from the kids? I kind of want to hear more reviews. Mm. I mean, it's more of the same. Yeah. Copy print. <laughs> yeah. you, it's, it's, more, it's more of, oh my just, God, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Just get rid of this board and talk to the wall. Stop wasting your time and your money when you can just talk to him yourself. <laughs> it's you know it's this is twenty nine ninety five. You know it's free talking to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's more of that. That's just over assuming and over you again. have Amazon Prime though, and so you have free and, shipping, and you're obviously the right religion. Duh. Right. Yeah. Can't just no, all, everyone just can't talk to this guy. Um, okay. Do you have a Hindu board? Probably, I'm sure, like a, made by the same guy. Yeah, yeah Buddhism oh, he, board. He just makes all. What's the Allah? What's the uh, uh, what's their prophet? Uh, Muhammad. Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mahatma. Muhammad Matt. <laughs> Mahatma. Muhammad <laughs> Gandhi. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Uh, okay, kids. We have some, we have some good ones. Some emails. Mm. All right, ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Zach. <laughs> All right, let's hear what you guys think. Really? You want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. And and just real quick to recap on that. Obviously, it sounds like we're just bashing on Jesus and religion. But that's not the point of that. The point of it is to call out people saying how ridiculous one thing is, but doing something else that's equally as ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Or not. I don't don't care. I mean, I'm spiritual as well. I just don't think that everyone needs to believe the same thing I do. (laughs) <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just like I'll, I'll do my thing you do yours and don't be like that's fucking crazy here's what you need to do and then put on magic underpants these people are wacko dude look at they they go to church three days a week <laughs> it's fucking stupid that's dude. crazy you only have to go twice a year everyone knows God, that dude. <laughs> Christmas all you gotta do is just give a bunch of money that's and then it. not go the more money you idiots <laughs> the more money you give the more free time you have <laughs> everyone knows that <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, our first email was sent anonymously. Okay. What a word. It says, Hey, Brian and Joe. Oh, hello. I'm listening to pa- Pacemaker, Foam Finger, Ginger, Neck Brace. <laughs> when I heard you read the resume, mm, yeah. I immediately knew you needed to see this. 
This was submitted at a retail store I worked at in college over 10 years ago. I've kept it all these years because it still makes me laugh. Keep me anonymous because I don't know uh, if it's legal to keep the resumes for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Lukewarm regards, Jane Doe. Perfect. Oh, don't say your name, Jane. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gave it away. Okay, let me see if I can see this here. <clears throat> can you pull that up there, Zach? I didn't scratch out his uh, name because his name was so... Uh, Pro has to be common. I was like, there's no way you're finding this guy. We'll just call him Scott. Okay. How about that? Yeah. My name is Scott, but everyone calls me Scotty. <laughs> That's on. It's This is on a resume. <laughs> <laughs> My DOB date of birth uh, is Wednesday, December 13th, 1978 at 8.14 p.m. <laughs> I am now 30 years old. <laughs> God, dude, it's like you could have left out some of these details. <laughs> All of these. Uh, I'm single with no kids, but someday married with two or four kids. And in eight years, I plan to be married with uh, two and a half kids. <laughs> Gosh, dang. Um, preferably to a model. Mm hmm. Who she's going to like. It will be. And she's going to want to have sex like three times a day. I'm not married right now and I have no kids, but someday for sure going to be married to a model and have two to four kids and have sex all the time on a boat. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. like, what? <laughs> right. uh, it's on my board. All right, Scotty. <laughs> uh, Scotty, don't. Mm -hmm. uh, my hobbies and leisure activities are going to church, celebration church, working with my hands in arts and crafts, <laughs> pencil, <laughs> metals, and woods, camping, fishing, nature walks, traveling to the coast, seeing movies, and collecting DVDs because yeah. I care about the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, hanging with my family and friends, <laughs> playing TTRPGs. What's that? TTRPGs? Uh, uh, tactical, I don't know. RPGs, but I think it's certain, playing, yeah, uh, some sort of TT. more precise version of RPGs. In, what's an MMO game? I don't know. Zach, seems like something you'd know. It's like multiple player online or something. Multi. I don't remember. Okay. Mass multi, maybe. Okay, like a uh, war, warlock. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Warcraft. Yeah, World of Warcraft. There it is. I remember. I was World like, uh, war, war, warlock. People started saying like, "I'm playing RPGs and playing DNCs and all these." And I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. No, no. Do I get a gun? Like, I I know I played all the games, but I didn't know they had names for them. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So MMO um, games, playing computer uh, computer games. games and console games. <laughs> Okay, and then Church is on Saturdays <laughs> at 5 p.m. to 10. Five hours! Uh, on Saturday and Sundays at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And, and 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.? Yep, that gives you the location. Location, <laughs> if you want to join, uh, is 284 Shaw Avenue. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to Google that can look that up. Mm -hmm. I'm a fast learner if I am shown. Not just, uh, not just talked about and pointed at. <laughs> Sky. Um, I work uh, well with others. I like working with my hands. I said that already. Mm -hmm. I like challenges and learning new, and I'm very patient. Overall, a good person to work with with no period. <gasps> and he's got a list of references, too. I Are think the, uh, uh, just a, uh, this is a perfect example of no one cares. Perfect example of this guy. Something's, good, something's wrong. Yeah. He's, yeah. This yeah. is like his first time. Yeah. Applying to a job, he goes, God, what do they need to know? Now, what can you bring to our business? Well, I go to church. <laughs> I got, well, I know one thing, and I church is on Saturdays and Sundays, <laughs> and I love computer games. Can you work weekends? Like, I just refer to my <laughs> I imagine, church schedule. I imagine him like having this conversation with an employee, like just going over all this shit, and, and then like guy's like, uh huh, uh huh, and he goes, All right, so hand me the box of avocados, we got to put them over here. <laughs> and he's like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like after going through this huge thing of all the things he loves, and he goes, "That's crazy." Go get the dolly. <laughs> we got to move some heavy boxes. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, all right, our second email coming in from our son who wanted to go by going postal, and that all makes sense here in just a second. He writes, "What the fuck is up, you dumb cunts?" Yeah, fine. A great way to start a sentence. Well, I don't know how to start this, so fuck it. Here we go. <laughs> So around 2011, I was a wee lad at the age of 16. I got four lower bowl tickets to a Utah Jazz game. Whoa. So naturally, whoever gets to go uh, better be providing something. Transportation or mind-altering substances, basically. Oh, I thought it was like sexual. Yeah. My, uh, my homie go, uh, got his hands on, till this day, and many other trips later, the best fucking ass 
acid I'll probably ever get to try. Acid basketball game. Fucking buckle up. <laughs> As we embark on this journey, we take our hits. Too sober, too fucked up was a good ratio of responsibility in our minds. <laughs> Anyways, as we get there, and we're both fucking peaking. Side note, the jazz bear was my neighbor at the time, so I shouldn't realize I'd get fucked with if, if seen. Uh, I should have there. realized I'd get fucked if was seen. <laughs> yeah. God. God, you want me to read this, Joe? Yeah. Jesus. Little, I think I said those words because it didn't make sense. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. Little did I know it was some fucking mascot night where they had other teams' mascots and shit. Cue in the picture of the fucking a- this asshole of a mascot. FYI, those things coming out of his nose are those birthday extender fucking things you blow into. <laughs> yeah. We get to our seats and maybe like the second quarter, we get fucking blasted with silly string by the jazz bear when this motherfucker taps me on the shoulder a row, be- a row behind me and I totally almost fucking fell on the dude in front of me. I wasn't prepared for the face to face with the neon dragon. <laughs> Give me a break. As I pick myself up, I tell this fucker to leave me alone, or I quote, will fucking deck you. <laughs> deck you? <laughs> oh, dude, I haven't heard of that in so long. Mm, it's a good you want to get decked? You fucking deck, you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't take his uh, take this hint, unfortunately, for him. Because in the th- third quarter, this asshole sneaks up on me in the line while I was getting a drink and some shit, and uses the same <laughs> MO as last time. Taps me on my shoulder, and I shit you not, I swung around and fucking decked this neon dragon <laughs> piece of shit in the fucking nose faster than you can say hiccup. That's the word he chose? <laughs> oh my god. He's like, faster it? than you can say <laughs> farfig nigga, yeah. dude. Uh, fucking faster than you say Mississippi. But he's like, no, it was faster than that. He yeah. goes, what's a word that's not too short, but Oh, okay. What's the weird word? <laughs> yeah. Say. Not gonna lie, best punch of my life. I'm not ashamed to say it. So naturally, security and all this shit comes to swoop me away. Dude, is this Colin that wrote this email? Yeah. But the best part is, since I knew the fucking jazz bear, he vouched for me saying <laughs> I warned him earlier. So I guess didn't get to see the last quarter instead of an assault charge. <laughs> win win for me. Little did I know I'd soberly break my nose on the fucking f- free throw line three weeks later doing a fucking dumbass hamburger relay race. <laughs> <laughs> but I got 30 bucks to Wendy, so there's that. Uh, just call me going postal. And if you want more or any more tripping stories, I've got demon possessed girlfriend on acid jail night or giving <laughs> random people who warned some uh, who wanted some acid on a train the next fucking day story. I want the the girlfriend acid and and if uh, you need if you need a reminder of what the mascot he's talking about is <laughs> <laughs> on acid, <laughs> that, that's probably what he saw around. That, like, that would be terrifying. Yeah, I'd punch it. You know what's so great about that? It's what we've talked about before when mm. people are dressed up in costume mm-hmm. and then real life happens. Yeah. So I just picture like this cop, the cops in there taking down things mm-hmm. and it's him and then like a, a mascot. Mm-hmm. He's all like, no, dude, he's cool. He's cool. He's with me. <laughs> did, did he get his story right? <laughs> and he just blows the <laughs> birthday party horns out the nose. And he goes, right. is that a yes is or a no? A yes? Two two blows for a yes, one for a no. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he wiggles his belly around. <laughs> he just won't snap out of character. He goes, sir, this is serious. <laughs> yeah. Like that man over there, like he, he, he's knocked unconscious. He got fucking decked sir, faster he... than you can say hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he got decked. So, the cops saying, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, this guy got decked so hard. I need you to be. <laughs> I need you to be serious. He looks back. All you hear is like sneaker. Like squeaks, he's doing the running man. <laughs> <laughs> going like going like this. <laughs> Sir. And he just it, don't. And he's like just lifts up a t-shirt ha- cannon gun. D- don't. <laughs> don't. And he just goes. <laughs> and then wee, wee, wiggles his butt. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God damn it. And he goes, wee, wee, and then fucking runs down the, the corridor. The fucking shirt knocks popcorn out of somebody's hand and walks. Thank you. He grabs his fucking two foot long hot dog and a t shirt. <laughs> <Wee, wee. laughs> All right, that's it. Throw, Pocket, <laughs> throws him up against the wall. Full of confetti. <laughs> Police throws him up against the wall. Can't get the cuffs on him. <laughs> Trying to cuff him, but he's doing the worm. 
<laughs> those inflatable mascot costumes, like the T Rex. Oh, yeah. oh man, that's funny yeah. to picture someone running for their life <laughs> yeah. in an inflatable costume because yeah, it's just going flopping forward. And <laughs> it's back. the one where the it looks like the aliens carrying the person. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just Set, like, stop those two people, <laughs> that guy, whatever, stop him. The top part is like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just fucking just running so fast. Oh my God, it's funny. <sighs> All right. Well, that's show 93. Yeah, fucking was. loved it. If you want to be part of the gaggle, the party keeps going. Us and these Hawaiian, these matching Hawaiian sweaters yeah. going to keep rocking. I'm going to flip my head around. Patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. Go find a tier that's right for you. We got our socials. We got the YouTube version. You know where to find us. And then something you want to see on the show, send it in to hey guys at can you don't podcast.com. Then rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts. Send us a hit up our beeper. Yeah. If you got something to say, page it in. We'll find a, we'll find a payphone, <clears throat> dude. We got this phone right here. Mm-hmm. It's linked right up to it. Thanks to Uncle Zach producing today's show and all the shows. Love you. Love you. Be sure to check out everything that Zach's doing over at scatcast.com. That is scat with a K. He's the scat man. And thanks to the babysitters that moderate the Can You Don't Playground on the Facebooks. Fun spot. Uh, I gotta. I just gotta. I gotta tell you guys about something to wrap okay. up the show. Right. Okay. Zach. 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 Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? Did you know? Oh, man. That's not going to link. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. I'm going to try and mute it and then see if it pops up and I can just bring this over to YouTube. Because it's okay. There we go. Whoa, fuck listen. me. Fuck me. Listen. Okay. Don't look. Uh, here. Just like make noises. Whoa, <laughs> okay. 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 Great. Thank you. So this is in a tiny festival. Or it's, a, it's a festival that happens in this tiny town in Spain. Crastrigo de Murcia. And it's a baby jumping festival. Mm. Uh, (laughs) In short, just from traditions and how weird things get. As is tradition. As is tradition. They have grown ass men that dress up as devils. Mm. uh, And then all of the babies that were born in the last year get lined up in the street and they just jump over babies. Mm. (laughs) Hmm. In the headline for this YouTube video says "Dangerous Baby Jumping Festival." It's not what. What if they? A, what if they dangerous? also let a bull out? Oh, and they mix it one. with the running of the bull. That'd be one. Look at this, sick. Where can I? Where can I get my fucking front row tickets? Look at all the people there. I know. Is that the little town? Yeah. Oh, nice fucking <laughs> ice stock. They just line up all these babies, <laughs> and they're all in their Sunday best even babies. Well, they're within a year. Oh, yeah. You got tiny ones. What if, look like, at all the people. I know. I mean, I, look at that kid just exhausted from mm-hmm. getting jumped over. But what? How funny. Oh, I'll jump her, baby. Look. <laughs> There's no expression on that guy's How face. How hungover do you think he is? <laughs> oh. Dude, he almost didn't make that last one. Can you imagine how much trouble you get in if you kicked a baby? I mean, it's isn't that part of the risk? Like you, it's know. you know, like when I went out and I was, you know, I used to jump those uh, parking meters, right? Yeah, like I used to jumping get, meters used to get crazy. Yeah, we know drinking Nuts. drinking booze, j- jumping meters, jumping meters. And I, uh, you know, you'd make a few, and then that last one, you're kind of getting tired. Mm-hmm. So Lose I wouldn't want to put my baby in the last one. I would want to be like maybe the third or fourth. You're just getting into that rhythm. You're feeling good. The draw straws for the baby placement. Yeah, if you the shortest straw has the last place, <laughs> guys are just beat by that time. <laughs> Legs are done. Uh, Probably depends on how many babies were born too. I like to think about uh, like this lady who just doesn't want to risk it, and she's about to. She's trying to hold out giving birth just to get into the next calendar right. year. So that's to put her baby in the street. <laughs> she's yeah, I mean, like she's... The, the, it's the first baby of that year, so it's born, and the doctor just goes, "We're heading down to the baby festival," and you're like, "Can I see my baby?" He's like, "Right after the devil yeah, jumps right after over the, it, right after the devil, right after has... the devil jumps over it." Duh, you fucking idiot! Snaps you like the umbilical cord and like throws it back at her. <laughs> here, do something <laughs> here, with that. I'll here, be... hold this. I'll be right back. <laughs> and just runs out with your fucking baby. Make sure it gets down to the, get jumped over by the devil. <laughs> make sure, sh- hey, make Good sure stuff. she's sewn up. Yeah. I want her bleeding out. I'm going to take her baby down and get jumped over. <laughs> baby, I mean, you know, we have to. It's a thing. It's a whole tradition. Thing. Tradition. You're not going to not get your baby jumped over by. <laughs> you want to be the only baby that didn't get jumped, jumped over? over? What if that's the, that's, that's like you. the legacies? Uh, they're in like high school. They have a like and is an outcast. It's like, oh, he would be part of this class, but he didn't get jumped over by the baby. devil. The fucking. I mean, 
bad parenting, if you ask me. Right. He's yeah. just getting bullied. <laughs> they were late. They're running late to the baby jumping festival. <laughs> they got caught in traffic. Yeah, the kid's just like sitting in back, and the parents are fighting up front. Trying this, to get this is on you. This is trying to get this baby jump. Oh, you had you. You could have went. You could have <laughs> taken a shit. Oh, but right as we're leaving, now you got to take a shit. <laughs> oh, you had to curl your hair, and just <laughs> like drifting around corners. <laughs> you. This is on you. This is on you. This kid's not getting jumped over today. <laughs> like trying to run to the back of the line with your baby to throw him on the last sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Fighting over that, <sighs> like ruining marriages. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Bonus stuff. We'll keep going. <sighs> uh, if not, we'll we'll see you guys next week. All right then. Fuck yeah, dude. Bye. Bye. Bye.